Hello Pisces, this is your November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Pisces individuals, so keep that in mind. We possibly maybe pick up some of the energies from last time, the last reading, or we may get a whole different new energy. But this is for Pisces, starting November 2018, Full Celtic Cross, Pisces, Full Celtic Cross, starting November 2018. Pisces, November 2018. Hoping so far things have been going well. Let's see what the beginning energy is going to be. Hopefully, if it's a, it'll be a positive one. If not, we'll work through it. We'll find out a solution. I don't like leaving people hanging. Let's see what's coming in. Getting energy. Another stalker card. This is still happening. This is the Seven of Swords. Someone is being sneaky and manipulative, possibly, or someone's trying to fly under the radar and keep things hidden from everybody. Sometimes people have to, to stay safe. Other times, it could be that someone's just manipulating against you, or you them. Gotta read more to know. Starting energy is the Ten of Coin in reverse. That's uh, things have not come into fruition for you financially. It hasn't. Uh, it hasn't gotten to the point where you feel comfortable financially in your life. You know that you met that end. It was crossing it, new beginnings and endings coming to a completion. The same reason. Goals. Eight of Cups in reverse. I don't see you walking away, trying to hang on. Uh, the Foundation, you have the Six of Wands in reverse. Someone doesn't feel like they got a victory. In the past, you had some manipulative energy around you. Someone was manipulative, um, sneaky, uh, trying to get by with something, not telling you things. It's all kind of reasons. I will clarify these in just a second. In the near future, you got the Seven of Pentacles. You feel like you got to keep on working on something because things in the past did not work out. But this is what's happening now in the very near future, and this is the outcome, outcome. I'll get to it. But I want to clarify these first for Pisces. You did have something good coming in the last time. Let's see if it's, you know, I'm seeing that you're stuck here with when it comes to finances and that maybe somebody messed you over in, in money possibly. Maybe you thought you had a good thing, you were starting something new, and it didn't pan out. But i got to read on to find out. Ten of Pentacles with the universe crossing it. Why are you there for Pisces? Magician again in reverse. you got to hear, you got to hear. It's a manipulative person. You might have something stolen from you or taken from you or about to be taken from you. So keep your doors locked. I'm not trying to make you paranoid. I'm just trying to get you to where you just protect yourself in a, in a, you know, it's pretty much easy to do. Make sure the doors are locked. Make sure you don't trust people. Don't give people your credit card number over the phone, okay? I don't know why I said it. There's the wealth card in reverse again. Because someone may be taking your money, taking advantage of you. So if something looks too good to be true, don't trust it. Now, your goal here is the Eight of Cups in reverse. I need to know more information before I can really say anything about it. It's usually a card of walking away if it's in the upright and reverse is not walking away. So, Eight of Cups in reverse while you're there for Pisces as the goal. Tower moment. You're not walking away from a, a tower moment. Something shocked you. Something you weren't expecting. Something that really uh, rocked your world, but not in a good light, you know? You're not walking away. You're not backing down. But you did have a tower moment where something just really unexpected happened to you. Can I get another card for Pisces? Could have to do with the Prince of Wands. It's in reverse. This is someone who doesn't commit. They usually, uh, a lot of times, they'll, they'll make promises, but but it never pans out. And they're, they're in and out of your life pretty quickly. It also could be a fire sign or someone taking on an energy. It's in reverse. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
Now, the foundation, you didn't get a victory, whatever the situation was. I feel a lot of you were taken advantage of, or you were taken advantage of somebody else. It could be vice versa. So, Six of Wands, why are you there in reverse? It's the foundation for Pisces. What happened? Could have to do with a contract of some sort, job, a marriage, anything like that. Something you thought was stable. Can I get another card? For the Six of Wands in the Hierophant in the upright. This final decision was made. It may have been, uh, something may have been decided against you. Now, in the past, you have the ma magician, the magist. It's, it's in reverse. It's a trickster card when it's in, re in reverse. Someone's being manipulative, and they know how to do it well. They know how to mess someone over well. And remember, we pulled it for here, too, when we're trying to um, clarify, you know, the subject in hand. So manipulation is definitely there. And I'm seeing that, too, in some of the other spreads and the Seven of, of uh, Swords. So that there's a heavy energy out there for some of you. But the Magician in reverse, why are you there? Trying to let go of a burden from a, a, a malicious type situation. Something that really did you wrong. You're trying to lift that burden from you. Someone also may have put a burden on you trying to lift it off their shoulders. Completion. You're pretty much done with it, whatever it was. But it's still hard for you. Your goal was not to walk away. You did have a tower moment. A lot of you already experienced this. You already experienced this. Now in the near future, you're going to contemplating. You're going to contemplate on a failure or whatever occurred in the past. You're going to be thinking about it. Seven of Pentacles is in the upright, so you are moving forward. Seven of Pentacles. Why are you there? Why are you in the near future for Pisces? But at the Knight, Knight of Cups, this could be your energy, or it could be an, another water-type energy. It could be another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone taking on that energy. They are in reverse. You are not, if, I, if this is your energy, you are not handing out your heart, your friendship, to any more, any more people that do not deserve it. Like I said, it could be another water energy also not allowing this to happen. But it's like, nope, you, you know... You burned me once. I'm not going to let you do it again. Can I get another card for the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups for Pisces? Knight of Swords. Kind of like a air-type energy. It is in reverse. So they're both in reverse. And they're both approximately around the same age. So this person can have both of these energies in them. They can have it in their chart, their astrology chart, whether it be Ascendant or Moon. Or, or sun, but the nut, uh, or it could be a couple different people. Knight of Swords can be an air energy or someone taking on that energy. It could be uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but you are dealing with these people that are in reverse, or you're having to deal with somebody, you yourself, as a Pisces, dealing with an air sign that's in reverse, and it's turning you in reverse, but you are moving forward. You're not backing off also on this uh, uh, tower situation. And the manipulative situation had to do with your finances and the completion that you wanted to complete a contract, possibly. A uh, few of you will have to do with your marriage. Not all of you, though. Uh, possible future outcome or vice card is the fool in reverse. Just don't, just don't take anything at hand that first comes up to you. Uh, investigate. Investigate, investigate, investigate. Can't get enough of that. The fool card. Why are you in reverse for Pisces? Someone's not having the desire, uh, put away your desires, put away your desires from jumping into new things that are uninvestigated because you'll, you know, you don't want to have strife. You want to, you know, overturn that situation. I'm thinking it's the universe giving you advice. Do not jump into anything new without investigating it. It may be too good to be true. Do not ch trust um, the things you want because they may not be real and it may, that you know, the universe is trying to tell you to overcome that strife in your life. Don't don't just go for anything. Be careful this, you know, in early November. Now what's coming towards you? There's a lust card in reverse again. These are unwanted desires. 
The Lust card, why are you there? Coming towards Pisces. Someone hasn't changed any that's coming towards you. Unwanted desires and things have not changed. Something that caused you a disappointment. Someone is stuck in disappointment. You have unwanted desires that are coming towards you and they haven't changed. The situation has not changed. Whatever's coming towards you, you may know what it is. You can leave it in the comments. Your hopes and fears is that you'll never be happy. You're afraid you will never be happy, Pisces. You have the sun in reverse. Can I get another card for Pisces? For the sun in reverse. Seven of Swords. Someone really did you wrong. Got to knock out those negative energies. Got to sit there and, I don't know, get put some sage around you or protection stones. Go buy something off of Etsy or something. Etsy, is that what it's called? That's where I go a lot of times. You need some protection. You need to just get rid of the negativity away from you. But you're afraid of someone uh, stealing and being, being manipulative trying to take from you and, and take away your happiness, maybe steal your happiness. That could be it, too. Can I get another card? The Sun card with the Seven of Swords. Why are you there? I hope we get a good outcome. The Hermit. You're coming out of Hermit mode. You fear that you may be stuck, alone, and someone take from you, steal your happiness. The outcome is Strength in Reverse. Why is the Strength in Reverse for Pisces? Someone's really taking your energy. Prince of Cups, that could be your energy or another water sign, like I said. It could be another Pisces or Cancer or Scorpio. A lot of times when I get this, as a Scorpio, but this is for the masses. These energies would be different. Like, is it not a continuum from the last energy, the last reading? This is a whole different energy for a different type of Pisces, possibly. So if this is you and you feel like it is you that you've been taken advantage of, you need to just protect yourself. You know, lock your doors. Don't give away your credit cards. Don't give away too much information, at least for the first couple of weeks in November. And I'll be doing another reading for you probably before the middle of November so we can have something. Uh, can I get another card? Because the Prince of Cups is in the upright. But I'm thinking it could be like your energy or maybe even, like I said, a Scorpio. But you feel like... It's, it's zapping your energy. It really is. Whatever is occurring in your life, for those of you that this resonates with, something is zapping your energy. Can I get another reading or another card for the final outcome? Then I'm going to tell you what the possibilities are here. Queen of Wands in reverse. We try to have that as a goal that's in reverse. You're getting a tower situation. There's more than one person around you. It's like you're getting nothing but negativity from certain situations. You just feel like the world is against you and people are taking advantage, and they are. Or some of you may be doing this to others. It'll be different for everybody. <clears throat> but Pisces, uh, the advice I give you is to guard your, your heart, guard your home. And I don't want to scare people. And it, but it could be easily rectified if you just take precautions on just what you should be anyway. You know, don't give up your information, like I said. Do, do not give information over the phone. Do not give, you know, your money away to someone who's promising you more than, than, uh, than it is. You know, it's too good to be true because you're going to get burned. And you've been burned before. So, and I know you're thinking about these failures and what they've done to you and you lose in strength. You're still going to be thinking about it in November, what somebody did to you. But what you can do here is, like I said, you can get online, get you some sage, get you some um, stones and cleanse yourself. I just got one of those uh, salt lamps so I can clear my air out, the, the negative energies. And that's what you need to do. The Pisces that this resonates with. You need to clear clear the air out and don't trust so much, at least in um, the first couple weeks of November. But this is your reading, and I will be giving you another reading again. And it may be a totally different energy again. So get back with me then, and hopefully you, you listen to something what I have to say and 
you know, protect yourself spiritually, physically, and mentally. Talk to you later. Bye.